Want to know the seven best tools that you must have for drawing comics, cartoons, and manga? You need to watch this video. Hello everybody, it's me, your old pal Max West. I draw comics and I do children's picture books. And today I'm going to talk about the top seven tools you must have for drawing comics. I'm going to do the, the traditional stuff. I'm not going to do, you know, you know, digital setups, computers, software, things like that. Alright, so let's get this show on the road. The first tool you need, number one, you need a drawing surface. Now you probably see this. This is my drawing table. This is where I draw most of my comics and comic scripts and cartoons and such. You can either work on a flat surface like this, or you can get a tilted surface. Art supply stores, office supply stores will sell drafting tables that tilt. You know, if this is what you prefer, you can try that. Of course, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can use just an ordinary table. That'll work for you, too. Okay. Number two. You need lights. Yeah, it's always good to have lights. Now, what you can do is you can have sunlight there by an open window. There's also this lamp here. Of course, it's good to have smaller lights at your table. This is one type I use. Huh, see? And this is another one. This is a portable tap light. This gives me some additional light when I work. Of course, they also sell those those swing lamps that you can put on your table or you can uh, you can mount on the edge of the table. You know, try different lamps. See what works for you. All right. Number three. You need. Pencils! I mean, this is a no-brainer. Now, there are many different kind of pencils out there. I've talked about them before. We have the standard wooden pencils like these. This is an HB. This is a 2H, which I use for basic layouts and such on a page. Then I'll go over them with this thing. This right here, this is a mechanical pencil. Now this is the kind of pencil I prefer for drawing with. You know, and this is refillable. I get leads like these, which I'll put inside the pencil when the old lead runs out. Again, there's no right or wrong pencil to use on a page. You know, try mechanical pencils, try some of the different wooden pencils like H, HB, 2H. You know, see what works best for you. But yeah, this is a must-have tool. Alright. And now, we move on to number four. And that is the pen. Okay, now there's all kinds of different pens that you can use to draw your comics and cartoons with. Okay. This is a rapidograph, or a technical drawing pen. Basically, you take a bottle of ink like this, you refill the pen like this, or if that's not your thing, you can use these disposable type pens. You can use perhaps a marker, such as this uh, Pilot Precise V5. You can, a Uniball pen. That's something good. I like using this for scribbles or for dotting. Or there's fine liner markers like the Stadler Pigment Liner or the Pigma Micron Pen. Those are good ones to have. Now the downside of these, unlike the uh, rapidographs I just showed you, is once the, the, the ink's been used up, these can't be refilled, so you have to discard them. I also did talk about before, and you've seen me using in other videos, the nib pen. 
These, uh, these use interchangeable nib points that you stick inside there and you dip this in a bottle of ink. This is a Speedball 512 nib. This is my workhorse. There's all kinds of pen nibs out here. I mean, you've got that. You've got the A5 nib and the C5, C4 nib. Let me see here. This is a Hunt 99 nib. You know, different different pen nibs will give different types of lines. Some will give a uniform line, some will give a very thin line, others will give a very thick line. You know, experiment with different nibs. You know, see what works for you, see what you like working with. All right. Now we move on to Five brushes. Yeah, these are older brushes. I have to invest in some new ones. You now you should get a couple of different ones. You should get a really small brush, a small round brush for thin lines. You should get a big brush too for patching it, for masking in black areas of ink on the page. Now these are synthetic hairs. Some of the really good brushes out there are sable brushes. Those are, those are made from animal hair and they're very expensive but those are some of the best ones out there. People just love using those. Oh yes, before we continue I'm going to give you a bonus item that's not on the list of seven and that ties in with the dip pen and the nib pen that I talked about before. The dip pen, the nib pen, the brushes, ink. Invest in some good black waterproof ink. This is one I use. This is from Dick Blick. Make sure it's waterproof. And if it says water based, non waterproof, stay away from it. All right, let's continue. Number six. Rulers! So, you can't draw a straight line? Well, I'll show you a tool that can draw a straight line. Rulers. I use these on my comic book pages, like Sunnyville Stories. I use these to draw, not only draw straight lines, but, but measure out panels on a page. This is one type of ruler. There are metal ones, there are plastic ones. This is another type of ruler, which is more as opposed to doing lines on a page, as opposed to um, <laughs> measuring. This is a T-square. This is how I make the various uh, things on my lines and panels on my page. Again, many art supply stores and office supply stores will, get, will have rulers. No, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Just get something that'll work for you. Last but not least, seven erasers. Now, there's all kinds of different erasers out there. This is a, this is a rubber eraser that I use. Once the uh, ink is dry to get the pencil lines off the page, I'll just erase. There's other kinds of erasers too. This is one I use for erasing very small areas. Some people like, you know, the typical pink erasers. Some might like gum erasers. Some like kneaded erasers. Again, try different erasers, see what works for you. To produce your best work when you draw comics or cartoons, you have to use something that you feel comfortable with. Oh yes, if you use erasers, invest in one of these too. This is a drafting brush. Rather than blowing on the page or, or dusting away things with my bare hands and smearing, I'll just use this. It's very handy to have. And that, my friends, is the top seven tools for, um, for making comics, cartoons, manga. These are tools you need to have. 
Well, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out the video description below to see more of my work. And until next time, this is your old buddy Max West saying goodbye.